Hello friends, welcome to Learning Basics. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with the topic of how we can remember the activities when we are adding an activity or we want to add an activity in between the some activities which are already planned and then how we can relate them with each other and how we can delete the activity and the relationship will remain same. This is actually I already prepared the separate tutorial for that one but one of our viewer requested for this one that he cannot understand how we can do it easily. So this special topic is tips and tricks for the activity adding deleting and renumber the activities and how we can mark then the activities somewhere. So I have already here a project sample project like uh, if we want to add the activities some somewhere here and then we have to how we can renumber the activities first of all we will remove our baseline before the changing of any activity or anything from the schedule make a copy and then save the original file source file because some something can be happen whenever you will change some value some error occur something then you will have to some backup files in your system so here first of all the first very first step is go to the project and go to the assigned baseline here in the baseline we have to remove the baseline from here if the baseline is assigned here the project baseline you have to move the as a current project because the baseline will be remain the same as a current project and here if primary secondary and other baseline is assigned then you have to same here you have to choose none none and here current project okay after the removing the baseline if you want to delete some activities and you want the activities will remain same suppose this activity we want to delete this activity and I want to the relationship will remain same between the activities suppose here predecessor and successor or we can customize and import the relationship here relationship apply and okay now relationship you can see here this activity has been this activity predecessor is this one which you mean coding and then this activity successor is this one sand filling in layers okay then we want this automatically this activity will be connected here if we delete this activity let me show you delete this activity and see the relationship will be removed automatically this one now you can see this activity has no predecessor and this activity has no successor here your relationship has been break out so what we will do just undo your project control Z the activity will come back whenever you have some mistake like Excel you have to press control Z for undo control C for copy control X for cut for cut and control P for the paste the same chart keys you will use here in Primogra P6 so what we will do to relationship will remain same between the activities what we will do we will dissolve this activity we want to delete activity specific but we want the relationship automatically will be connected with the previous activity as a predecessor and the next activity as a successor so yes here is this cannot be undone if you commit once then it will be never comes in you cannot undo so now you can see here the activity predecessor this activity predecessor is already which you mean coding already assigned by the software and successor the next activity will be assigned as a successor activities so here you can see the activity sequence or activity id sequence has been breaked out 14 0, 0 and 14 to 0 one activity is missing that for our sequence with the increment value of the 10 then one value has been missing here so suppose we want to add activity here if we want to move this activity from here to another WBS 
then we have to move option suppose we can copy and paste as well and dissolve this activity from here if you want to dissolve the activity from here and you will remain the relationship with the next activity then you have to copy and paste otherwise cut and paste the relationship will it will be carried with the activity suppose we will activity we will paste here you can see here this activity will be at the top so this activity relationships you can see here activity e100 so where is the relationship activation predecessor is the activation where is this one it will remain now we have to remove the relationship and assign somewhere here this remove the relationship okay yes predecessor has been removed we will assign the predecessor again from here from our activities suppose we want this activity as the predecessor of that activity which we have moved here in the ws how we can manage this activity or we want to add a new activity somewhere in our this ws so with this one the activity id is 1410 because we have deleted and sequence activity became here now we will add here a new activity now you can see here this activity go at the end how we can manage the activity by the number suppose this activity 1450 we want under the 1390 so how we can manage it just write here 13 1395 all right 95 enter it now you can see here the activity id has been changed and the activity became here you can also manage their dates but whenever you will add the activity uh, wants the sequence as per activity id you have to change this number now our sequence our values the increment value is 10 now it's break out now if we want to set up the activities as descending or descending order if you want this activity then we have to under this lean concrete 31330 we will do 1335 1335 we will manage this activity as well this activity now you can see here move back now if you want to descending or descending order this activity this one is now from finish to start our activities are started from 14 the last activity became on the top and the first activity very first activity is at the bottom of this wbs 1 3 0 0 so now what we will do we will do here the first of all descending order here and select the all activities because if you want to renumber the all activities or change the value for some activities then if you want to for this one activity then you have to select that one activity and renumber with some values e you can say p 1 if you want an increment value 10 20 whatever you want okay now you can see this one only one activity has been replaced now if we want to renumber the all activity ids by this sequence control a after the control a select and renumber activity ids here the p and we can we yes as the setup we did p e x something you can write p b and okay now you can see here the activities has been three numbers as per our requirement so here you can see which activities we want to manage by this one these activities became here and if you want to again change these activities these activities under the lean concrete suppose we want to these two activities under the lean concrete we will say simply this activity value is 1110 we have to put a value greater than this one so here first of all we will do 112 and 11 1 3 1 3 okay so these are becoming as the activity start dates it's sort out by the start date before we did as a start date now we will do as a activity id is descending and descending order 
now you can see activities are becomes here as we give the value new activity if you want to delete or move somewhere else 1122 1112 so these new activities are became here because before we start and finish as per finish you can also manage your activities these new activities you can see here as per the finish descending and ascending order you have to select descending and ascending order start as well and if you want to by this one so this activity last activities became here and we will put control a and then go again to the repository number activities suppose b b and we want this value from 2000 okay okay now you can see here the activity ids are changed by this one descending order from here this is how we can manage our activity IDs ascending and descending if you want to put some activity here add activity and change the activity number ID and simply after the changing the activity number uh, activity ID you have to you want this activity under this activity structure field 2260 2265 suppose this one this activity automatically became here if you want to delete activity dissolve you can use this option by after the finalizing your renumbering activities and everything you have to assign the baseline again renumber activity ids and here suppose a 1000 increment value is 20 okay now you can see 1000 and from increment value is 20 it is became like that and if we want to change activities here activity id increment value is 15 okay 15 and then if we want to activity id somewhere to change replace the beginning three characters fl2 suppose we want a three characters a two b b a okay you can see because already these values why this error is becoming because already the some activities are that the following activity as ids are already exist in the project specify a different value for the each activity okay okay cancel it yes now again renumber activity ids and here suppose the activity ids are 2 2 we want pba suppose ppr okay now you can see the activity ids has been changed this is how you can manage the activities by the different ways and how you can change the activity numbers by the here because the baseline is not assigned then if you have option in the baseline as well but if you are deleting or dissolving some activities the activities will not delete and dissolve in the baseline that's why it's showing like that if the baseline was assigned then renumber you can activity uh, renumber your activities with the baseline hopefully this tutorial is helpful for you people. Please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz.